there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, normally on these videos I just do things that are uh, uh, newish releases, but this is not a new release, but uh, I thought it was worth sharing with some people, because it's um, the, the wine's 1991 Chateau Clemence uh, in Sauterne. Uh, 1991 wasn't the greatest of year in Bordeaux, and um, I don't think too many other Sauterne chateaus or Barsac ch chateaus, the, the, the two are next door, communes next door to each other, um, did too well, but this one, I've, tr I've tried it a few times, and uh, I managed to hang on to a bottle, and now at 24 years old, um, well, as you'll see from the bottle, quite a lot of it uh, disappeared down me and some friends' throats last night, uh, but um, it was looking rather smart. Let's see what it looks like today. And it's funny, if you'd asked me what this was, I'd have, said, I'd have put it as Tokai. Um, there's that uh, slightly... Um, what I call bruised marmalade. Does that make sense? It does to me. Uh, apricots, and there's a lot of richness here, uh, and it hasn't got that slightly heady, honeyed pineapple nuttiness that I think of as uh, uh, as, as being typical of Sauterne. Maybe because there's more late harvest fruit here rather than botrytis affected fruit, but um, it, it, it smells really nice. It's got that headiness of Sauterne, but a freshness that... Um, um, sometimes if you, you have wines that almost have too much botrytis. Here there's freshness, there's juiciness, there's the fruit, it's, it's remarkably fresh at this age. And uh, I wanted to, I, I mean, you, I, with wines like this you can't drink a huge amount of them. Uh, it, but it's a wine I want to sit and have that much in my glass and like sit and swirl it and uh, sip it over the course of um, half an hour or more. So uh, I've got quite a slug left in my glass. I think I'm just going to go away, turn the camera off and sit and do that for the next half hour. See you soon.